What do you think of Ignite Phoenix 13 so far? Some people think 13 is an unlucky number, but I chose to give it a different meaning. You see, 13 is special to me. Another thing that's special to me is the month of September. Although you might think the universe is trying to send me a message about September. September 1985, I was on the 13th floor of a building during an 8.2 earthquake that killed tens of thousands. September 11th, 2001, I was flying New York to Boston just as the first tower was hit. September 11th, 2009, I was diagnosed with a very rare cancer for which the survival rate is 13%. <laughs> now you might be thinking, boy, this guy must hate September, and where is he planning to be September 2013 so I could be as far away as possible? <laughs> In reality, September is my favorite month. September is the start of f football <laughs> and fantasy football. And as you might have heard, fantasy football saved my life. Fantasy football is a game where you get points based on what real players and real games are doing. And you might have Peyton Manning on your fantasy team at quarterback and Larry Fitzgerald at wide receiver, even though they play on different teams in the real world. Now, I'll be the first to admit, fantasy football is a meaningless first world hobby based on fake teams and artificial scoring. It's Dungeons and Dragons for jocks. <laughs> and yet, this meaningless hobby, this proxy for competition helped me during my darkest days. So let's go back, September 2009. I'm loving life, the Cardinals had just been in the Super Bowl. My life had meaning and purpose. <laughs> to be told that September, not only that I had cancer, but a cancer so rare that my oncologist at Mayo Clinic had not heard of it was shocking. You try Googling natural killer T cell non Hodgkin's lymphoma extranodal nasal type. It's not easy. To attack my tumor, Mayo Clinic used this multi million dollar radiation machine that actually shoots photon beams of energy. Each treatment consists of being bolted to a table immobilized with a mask, and having a tongue suppressor stuck in my mouth. 30 to 40 minutes, every weekday, six weeks. Was it fun to get massive amounts of radiation in my head? No. Did I get awesome ninja superpowers? Yeah. No. All I got were burns, hair loss, nausea, and the knowledge that tomorrow I had to come back and do it all over again. Now we all have days where we think, let me just get through today. Well, imagine every day is like that. Imagine that your time scale gets warped and you think, let me just get through the next 15 minutes. That's what it's like. It was during these times when every minute and hour of my real life was torture, that getting lost in the fake world of fantasy football helped me become part of the 13% who survived this cancer. In his book, Man's Search for Meaning, Viktor Frankl writes, the last, of humans, the last of human freedoms is to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances. Well, I chose that every number is going to be my lucky number, and every month is my favorite month. And Mondays still suck, <laughs> except for one Monday. As I recovered, September 2010 rolled around, and I drafted Larry Fitzgerald on several of my fantasy teams. Larry, as usual, had a pretty awesome year, and he went to the Pro Bowl. And to celebrate his achievement on a Monday, he sent out a Twitter and Facebook contest. First two people to arrive were going to go all expenses paid to Hawaii with him. On Friday, we're flying to Hawaii. The next day, I get a call that says, do you want to go skydiving? To which the only possible answer is, yeah. <laughs> One year after losing 50 pounds to chemo, I'm jumping out of a plane with Larry Fitzgerald in Hawaii. I'm still going to die and probably from some cancer based on all the radiation and chemo that I've already... 
But until then, September 2013, I'm drafting again, and every day I'm gonna live! Yeah.